Hi Cancer, this is your October 3rd through October 9th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love uh, this week. We have the Five of Wands clarified by the Seven of Wands. We have the Three of Cups, then we have the King of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Empress with the Sun on the Hierophant, and we have the Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, towards Virgo Capricorn, or a Leo. We also have Libra on the table. Wow, Cancer. This King of Pentacles, uh, right there in the middle, is um, a person <laughs> fighting for you full and undivided attention. And uh, if they are a person, right, then they're going to be the winner. Or if they are the person, then they will definitely, you know, fight for your full and undivided attention. All of this is because they see you as their future spouse from the get-go, from the very beginning. And that's why... They're like being almost aggressive about it, especially if you've got other people, um, you know, in, if you're, if you're talking to other people. It's like this person feels like they feel borderline possessive over you in a good way. Again, because they see the future with you. They see children, they see that minivan, they see uh, soccer practice, you know, things like that. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, the King of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. If they're not an Earth sign, this is somebody who is very grounded, serious. They could be uh, an entrepreneur, or they could be working for a financial institution. Right, the first card I came out is the Five of Wands, and it's classified by the Seven of Wands. Then we also got the Three of Cups right next to it. The Three of Cups could be a third-party situation for some of you. i got to be honest with you, right? And if that's the case, then again, they're a fight of the competition. The Three of Cups could also be a card of a, a celebration, some kind of an event or a gathering or a party or a concert or a show that you're going to be meeting this person at. And uh, if that's the case, then they will make sure you guys uh, leave that venue together, just you and them. So they may give you a ride home or they, you guys may continue just the two of you, right? Um, yeah, the Five of Wands with the Seven of Wands, this is a card of... This is <clears throat> this is a card of competition, so you could have multiple people interested in you. And again, if that's the case, then the King of Pentacles is the winner. If you're dealing with just one person, they will throw everything they've got at you. They will, you know, <laughs> they will be on your case. The Seven of Wands. This is either them fighting off the competition, or this is them uh, defending the idea that the two of you should be together. Okay, I know it sounds a little bit creepy, but um, you know, when we're in love, we are we fight, we fight for for the love we believe uh, we should be together with, right? We fight for the person we believe we should be together with, and that uh, this person is very determined, right? The fourth pentacles on the bottom of the deck. In this case, this comes from that same king of pentacles. This is them wanting to hold on to you and never let you go. Again, kind of borderline possessive, but again in a good way. All of this is because of uh, that Ace of Cups clarifying the, the King of Pentacles. This is um, the Ace of Love. Genuine, authentic love. That's the way they're feeling towards you. If this is somebody brand new you're meeting um, this week, then uh, you will have them at hello. They will, it'll be uh, love at first sight and that's why they're so uh, determined to get uh, together with you. To get the show on the road with you. Right, in the potential outcome, we have uh, the Empress with the Sun and the Hierophant. Every single card in the potential outcome is a major Arcana card. The Hierophant could be a Taurus you're dealing with. This King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, but at the same time, the Hierophant is also a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. Right, the Empress, the first card in there. That's the way this person sees you from the very beginning. Okay, that's why they're fighting for you. 
and the empress often comes through as the future wife or a future significant other figure it's also a card of somebody who is a mother figure so again they see you as the as their wife or their husband they see a family with you they see that minivan that i was <laughs> mentioning all that good stuff right the sun in the middle could be a leo you're dealing with but the sun is also the happiest card in the deck this card always talks about joy success happiness feeling on top of the world and there's also a kid riding the horse and the sun card so again a full-blown family is definitely um you know in the works <laughs> for you i'm not gonna do an extended for you uh taurus because uh I'm yeah, you could be dealing with the Taurus, you know, the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant could be... I was looking at the Hierophant card, you could be, and the, the Hierophant is a Taurus card. So I'm not going to do an extended for you, Cancer, because um, it will be pointless, it will be a waste of time. Alright, um, definitely a commitment, definitely somebody who is going to come in, and uh, if there's other people you're talking to, you're not going to be talking to those people anymore. <laughs> All right, really happy for you, Cancer. Congratulations. Cancer, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Four of Swords, we have the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. This is such a great spread, Cancer. If you, actually, if you are in a very happy, emotionally fulfilling, stable, rock-solid commitment or marriage, um, it'll be, you know, business as usual. Because <laughs> we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in the same spread. You know, we got the Two of Cups here, that's you and them, and the Four of Swords, you know, it's just, you know, business as usual. Nothing really happening. You're in love, uh, it's rock solid, you're emotionally fulfilled, uh, that's it. <laughs> For some of you, um, you know, you could be taken into the next level, whatever that level is for you, right? Um, yeah, if you're not married, uh, you could be being proposed to, perhaps with the Four of Swords, they thought about it long and hard, not because they have doubts, but perhaps uh, they're a little bit shy, they realize what an important, serious step it is, and, uh, you know, they're going to propose to you. With the Two of Cups, yeah, that's the two of you. And then we got Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. For, for others of you, you could be going on a family vacation. You know, the Four of Swords, this is you guys relaxing on the beach or somewhere nice and uh, with uh, uh, not, not being bothered by people you work with or other relatives, <laughs> right? So, yeah, this, is a, this, this feels calm. At this, it feels happy and calm at the same time. It's like you have this understanding that you you and your partner, you and your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your, you and your wife and husband, you're in such a... Uh, it's like you're in the bubble in a good way. It's just you, your family, and, uh, and the rest of the world is like non-existent. You live in your very happy environment, if that makes sense. Right? Rock solid and happy at the same time. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Cancer, this week. Um, keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent act. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Three of Swords. Um, we have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Fool. Then we have the King of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Then we got the Moon on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or um, a Pisces. Um, yeah, your connection between you and uh, the King of Wands came to a screeching halt at some point in the past. It just, it was just bam, and that's it. It was done. All of a sudden. I don't know what caused it, but I can tell you it was something sudden, something that just happened out of the blue you know because we got the ten of swords clarified by the three of swords the ten of swords is a card of an abrupt ending and uh, it almost feels like it was irrecoverable it's like you cannot salvage this nevertheless they're gonna try well yeah the three of swords clarifying the uh, ten of swords is a card of a broken heart it's a card of a devastation it could have been a third party situation for some of you um, the moon on the bottom of the deck, uh, all the way to your right, this is a card of fear, this is a card of anxiety, it's one of the most emotional cards in the deck. Did I mention it's a Pisces card? Yeah, 
could have been a Pisces involved here, but perhaps with the Moon card, this is how you've been feeling about what happened, and uh, them too. So like I said, they're going to make a very serious attempt to get back together with you, and I think this person knows they've got their work cut out for them, because uh, they will throw everything they've got at you, right? The, the, the King of Wands is the person coming back, the, most likely a fire sign, there is Leo Sagittarius, um, uh, and uh, we got two proposal cards on the table. <laughs> the Six of Wands used to be called the proposal card, and uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a proposal card as well. And I see this all the time, Cancer, when people think that the only way to get somebody back is to propose to them, so that could be what they're doing, because they may think that that would be the only um, option for them. Other than that, you wouldn't even consider. Right? If it's not a proposal, this is still something as serious as it gets. The Ace of Pentacles is a very serious ace. It really is. That's why it's often a proposal. Right? The Fool clarifying the Six of Wands. Uh, it could be an Aries. Right? The, fool, the King of Wands could be an Aries. Or the Fool is a second chance. You know, starting from a clean slate. I don't know what you're going to do, Cancer. But uh, they mean business. I don't know if you're going to care they mean business, but they do. The, the, uh, I believe the offer is solid. The offer is legit. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Cancer, this week. Um, we have Justice. We have the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. i got to be honest with you, Cancer. The first thing I thought of once I saw this, I thought somebody is going to jail for stealing or for selling information. It could be like a corporate espionage. Hopefully that's not you. I'm not judging you, I'm not calling you out, but uh, if somebody approaches you and they say, hey, uh, can you share some information about this company you work for? I think you should turn them down because uh, you will get caught. Okay, again, I'm not judging you, I'm not calling you out, just be very careful. For some of you, it could be, it doesn't have to be somebody going to jail, but it could be somebody getting fired, right? Say somebody approaches you, somebody you work for, and they ask for access to a particular file somewhere on the, the server. And uh, you don't check their clearance. You give them access to the file or you print it out and it turns out they don't have access to it. And uh, as a result of that, you're going to get fired. Okay? So be very, very careful this week. Justice, the first card I can make, it could be literally a justice system, judicial system, right? And uh, you see how just the person in the justice card is holding up a sword? That's exactly the sword we see in the Ace of Swords. If you do something illegal, it will come down on you, okay? And your accomplices. Okay, so Seven of Swords is a card of a deception. It's a card of, it's the thief. This card is called the Thief of the Tarot deck. The Eight of Swords clarifying it is somebody going to jail or somebody gets stuck and trapped. Right? Then the Ten of Swords, something is coming to an end. At least your employment coming to an end. Okay? So, yeah, be extremely careful. If you need to sign something this week, either don't sign it or make sure you give it to a lawyer first. Because you may sign something you will later regret. Okay, so be very extra careful. Alright? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Cancer. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have uh, the Seven of Cups clarified by the Teal of Pentacles. We have the Chariot and the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I think you have an unexpected trip coming up. Or somebody wants to... Yeah, a trip. Trouble. <laughs> the eight of ones on the bottom of the deck is most likely trouble. Okay, the chariot right next to the deck, that is uh, your major arcana card, and uh, it could also be interpreted as a travel card. Okay, um, for some of you, you, you may have to unexpectedly buy a new car. Right, the chariot could be a car. And uh, if that's the case, then the, it's a family car. <laughs> All of this, whatever is going on here, it has to do with the family, right? With your family, with your extended family, right? Uh, the Ten of Pentacles, the first card that came out, is a family card. It's a commitment or marriage card. Rock solid commitment or marriage. Then we have 
Uh, the Seven of Cups clarified by the Two of Pentacles, both of those two cards are multiple choice cards. So perhaps um, one of you um, says, hey, let's have a weekend getaway or hey, let's take an extra day off either Friday or Monday of the following week and have a, a, a long weekend getaway. Take three days off. And there you guys are in the Seven of Cups and the Two of Pentacles trying to figure out where you want to go. And uh, again, with the Eight of Wands, you're going. Or perhaps with those two cards, the Seven of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, you're looking at different cards, different makes and models and deciding which uh, car you want to purchase. So that's, uh, that's what you're not expecting, <laughs> Cancer. And that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing week.